I regularly get emails from people telling me it can't be done. The future of the world is doom, death, and despair. Seriously, I really do. But the thing is, within the space of three days, three remarkable things happened. One of them, one of the biggest coal power plants in Australia shut down. The second, it was replaced by an enormous wind farm. And the third, an enormous battery was started up for the first time on the site of an old coal power generator. My friends, the future of the world is not what people are telling you. In fact, whilst many intellectuals and people who claim that they're very intelligent say that the world is doomed and we're all going to die, everything's going to heat up and you know we'll all be cooked within a very short space of time, the truth is that actually things are getting better very fast. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. My name's Sam Evans. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Renew Economy reports that one of the largest completed wind projects in New South Wales, the 224 megawatt Bango Wind Farm, has had its official launch in the state's southern tablelands, complete with billionaire Andrew Forrest appearing at the top of one of its 46 turbines. The Squadron Energy Project was formally ushered into the grid on Friday morning at around about the same time as Australia's largest coal plant, the Liddell Power Station, was formally turned off. The significance of the timing of the two events was relished by Billionaire Forest, whose Tatarang Group owns Squadron, which last year bought up the assets of OWP Renewables, including Bango, and added it to its 20 gigawatts pipeline of projects, which is enough energy to power millions of homes. On this very day at this time, Liddell, that massive coal-fired monster, the biggest in Australian history, finally shuts down officially at the same time as we open a new green future. Forest told a gathering at the opening of the wind farm. We're not predicting global warming. We're not predicting climate change. You're in it. You're standing in it, Forrest said. So when we cut that ribbon to open this near quarter of a gigawatt renewable zero harm climate neutral power station, we want to put another nick in the fossil fuel sector. Now, during that same week, a second very large battery began operation for the first time on Australia's main grid. This comes whilst Australia transitions away from coal and gas and fossil fuels to renewable energy at a faster pace than ever in the country's history. The movement away from fossil fuels to wind, solar and battery storage has been remarkable here in this country over the last 12 months. The 150 megawatt one hour Hazelwood battery is being built near the site of the brown coal generator that controversially shut down in early 2017 with little notice, setting in train a period of high power prices and political outrage. Of course, all of that was very short-sighted and things are starting to change. The battery finished construction only a few weeks ago. Unlike the 250 megawatt one hour Torrens Island battery in South Australia that, that charged up for the first time only days ago, it started operations in the same week that the Liddell coal power plant in New South Wales shut down its remaining units. The batteries at Hazelwood and Torrens Island are just two of a number of new big batteries that are under construction and soon to be connected to the grid in Australia. These include the Bouldercombe battery in Queensland, the Broken Hill battery in New South Wales, the Riverina battery complex in, New, in southwest New South Wales, the Chinchilla battery in Queensland, the Capital battery in the ACT, the Tailand Bend battery in South Australia, and the new massive battery in Victoria in Melbourne, near Geelong. Now, even without the added significance of this enormous coal power plant shutting down, the opening is a big deal for New South Wales because it marks the first wind farm to come online in the state in more than a year. While New South Wales has topped national solar charts, says Renew Economy, both on large scale and rooftop measures, it is well behind where it needs to be on wind power capacity as well as battery storage as coal plants start to exit. One of the key reasons for this is the government's reticence towards offshore wind farms. But now that has changed. Regulations are changing in Australia and offshore wind farm permitting 
is about to hit the big time. There's a pipeline of offshore wind farms that will soon be in the process of possibly being approved. Van Gogh Wind Farm is located 30 kilometers north of Yass in New South Wales. And at full generating capacity, it will deliver up to 750 gigawatt hours of renewable energy a year to the grid. That's enough to power 150,000 homes by itself. Now the project has also secured a contract to supply grocery giant Woolworths with around 30% of its New South Wales energy needs, the equivalent to 108 supermarkets. As an industry, we need to deliver an average of 40 wind turbines a month to reach the government's target of 82% renewables by 2030, said Forrest on Friday. So the government here in Australia has drastically changed our, its forecast and its determination for the Australian energy sector. The current goal is 82% renewables by 2030. A lot of people say this is impossible, it can't be done. However, billionaires like Forrest and futurists, people who are optimists and people who generally tend to get things done, believe otherwise. Forrest said, today we're delivering 46 turbines in the first wind farm to come online in New South Wales in more than a year. As a group of companies and particularly as Squadron, we must do all we can to help our nation eliminate pollution. Business in full partnership with government must work to do everything we can to bring our emissions down as a nation. Squadron will play a leading role in this, providing one third of the energy required to reach 82% renewables by 2030. One third is coming just from Andrew DeForest Squadron Company alone. That, my friends, is utterly mind blowing. The Bango Wind Farm was in 2019 reported to be the first in the world to use General Electric's Cypress 5.3 megawatt wind turbines which at that time ranked amongst the largest onshore wind turbines anywhere in the world. And they were the largest to be installed in Australia. This shift, this move away from fossil fuels to renewables is actually happening really quickly. The news media would like you to believe that um, things are going to hell, that we're all gonna burn. Unfortunately for you, they're wrong. Thank you for watching.